Now, I don't know what the issue is. That after a year of torture, minimum, I still can't be left alone. After the damage that's been done to my brain, more issues added on top <clears throat> that now I'm straight going to have to uh, talk to a therapist, you know, with, and have to try to work through. I mean, it's ridiculous. Half of these are war crimes. This is not Nazi Germany. But you would think it was. The way people act. And the things that they do. Now I haven't been home. Since I left about 9 o'clock, a little bit after. So I would hope no one would violate my privacy. But with trust issues, I can't never be sure. Because when you're stalked, followed, harassed, and everything else. You can't be sure about anything anymore. Now, this program, whatever it is, it's gone on long enough. Everybody knows it's not supposed to happen, but yet people still take part. Even those that go to church and stand before a priest or something of the like, but when I take my daughter to school and start seeing people that don't even have kids, then there's a problem. You know, it really is enough. If you could only see what was in my brain, if you could feel what was in my brain, if you could even feel what was in my heart, You wouldn't be able to handle it. The unknowing and fear of being stalked. Accidents like big, thick limbs falling out of trees uh, that had cut marks on them, almost getting into accidents in a car. You know, I, I really am afraid for my life. And that's the bad part. I shouldn't be. It's always a county truck looking at me. It's always uh, a postal worker without the uniform. It's always, I mean, it's always something. Like, this thing is so huge. I bet all the people couldn't fit in my daughter's school at once. Like... I see all these people on YouTube, they all talk about the same problems. 
the same issues. Now, I just took a drug test over the weekend. I'm completely clean, except for the prescriptions that I currently take. And that being said, knowing that some of the other people on YouTube are openly smoking pot, cannabis, whatever you want to call it, I notice more. I pay attention a lot. I'm aware of my surroundings. I would hope that you left me alone at least for a little while. I've been raising my youngest since her mother passed away. So I understand you're, you're trying to get at me, but you really want to hurt a child that is intelligent? You want to scar her too? That's not right. She's in second grade and reads better than most. She excels in her schoolwork. And my oldest is in all honors. I mean, Look, you, you've had me do this, go through this, for a long time now. So now it's coming from that way at four. Four, nine, four. All I'm asking is for it to stop. Please, you're, you're causing tremendous damage. You're serving the wrong God. You need to be serving the one that created all. Not the one who rules all currently. I hope you all understand where I'm coming from. I forgive you. Just stop, please. You still have to answer to God, but that's at your t choice, time, and whenever. I seek no ill wishes on anyone, my country, or myself. I do fear for my safety after the accidents, so please. Stop.